What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to go over a very, very interesting um, uh, Iron Wolves honor farming strategy that I'm using right now to finish mine. And for all those who have not finished theirs, hopefully this will help you guys out. But this is a really awesome and very, very efficient way to farm up all of your wolves honor. So we're going to go through it step by step. And I'm going to break down the entire process on why we do it this way and why it's the most efficient. So when we start the Blood Maiden, and it all revolves around can, like killing the Blood Maiden, the Blood Maiden is the most efficient way to gain the most amount of honor that you can. Now, here's something that we learned. When you kill the Blood Maiden, you're getting 138 plus another 40, or it's 140 plus another 38. Um, so that combined with all the honor that you're gaining from, uh, you can see 142 and then 35. So with all the honor that you're gaining from killing all the monsters associated with her, you get about 220 to 250 honor every single time you complete this event. And this event takes roughly about a minute. It's a little over a minute to complete this in total from the moment you put in your um, hearts uh, to completion. It might be a minute and 10 seconds. Uh, maybe a mini uh, in 20 if it's taking you a little long to kill the monsters. Now, this strategy is going to work for players like myself that are level 100 that are trying to finish. And this is going to work for brand new characters if you want to maximize your um, Iron Wolves on a alternate character. So, you do this unlimited times. And if you're in a party, it's way more efficient because you're not wasting three hearts. You're only wasting one or none depending on how many people are here farming okay now the reason that we're doing it on world tier 2 as opposed to world tier 4 is because the amount of honor that you receive from killing the blood maiden is the same on world tier 4 as it is on world tier 2 so that doesn't change you would think well that's weird right you would think that if you had if you have it on world tier 4 that it would be more Right? You'd get more honor, right? It makes sense. Unfortunately, that is not the case, at least in my testing. So I'm going to leave that fight because I'm going to show you the next step that we're going to do here. So the first step is go to World Tier 2, and you're going to farm her indefinitely. You're just going to farm her until you want. We got about eight minutes left in this Helltide. So here's the next trick, okay? So I'm going to go back over to Kovashad. And when you open up a chest in World Tier 2, it costs 100 of your cinders and is going to give you 120 um, uh, points towards your honor. However, there's a nice little bonus trick to this strategy, and that is if you come over here to change World Tiers, and we go back to World Tier 4, and then I go over to the Helltide, I won't lose any cinders. I won't lose any of my cinders, and then we can open up all the chests that we want before the timer ends in world tier four you can see i still have 501 cinders so now i'm going to go look for living seal and we're going to go open these because not only are we going to get the um living seals that we need to fight grigor but each chest you open in world tier four is worth 180 um honor as opposed to 120 so we gain 60 additional honor in this strategy in doing this so let's kill everything really quickly Let's make sure we don't die because we do have a a brain popped. 275 cinders plus 180 honor. We love it. Get our steals. On to the next one. So our next living steal has to be down here somewhere. Right? We don't even care about that guy. We're just going to open as many chests as we can. Oh, we actually only got 245. So let's go grab. Where is the... Uh, Where's the other? There it is. All the way up there. So we'll go open the regular mystery chests. So this strategy is so strong because we can farm the Blood Maiden in about a minute, a little more than a minute. And we're getting 220 to 250 honor per time that we do that event. And then we can come over here with our massive amounts of cinders and just... I love that this knocked me off. A-holes. A-holes, man. I 
I'm just trying to go open a chest. And then we can spend our cinders on chests that we actually want. Because remember, guys, in World Tier 2, opening those chests don't give you living seals. They don't give you really anything that you necessarily need. So coming over here and changing the World Tier and opening them here is definitely the more efficient way to doing this. Um, now, I haven't had any issues with um, my cinders disappearing after changing world tiers. What I will tell you to do is not to open or not to leave the game. So if you're in a party, don't leave the game. You can leave your party and swap world tiers. Um, and that's perfectly fine. But I would tell you not to change, uh, like leave the game and come back in. I, you're, I'm pretty sure your cinders will completely disappear. So then we come over. We did complete another tier. So we got our Iron Wolves. We got two left to do, 9,000 and then 10,000. Now, I do want to showcase really quickly because we kind of did the math here uh, on these runs, killing the Blood Maidens. The Profane Mind Cage doesn't matter as far as increasing the monster level, but it will give you, it will fill up your, your threat meter faster so you can get more monsters, which in turn will give you more cinders, which is nice. So roughly this is about how it is. If you do 30 minutes of this strategy without opening any chests, um, you're roughly about 8,000 honor, give or take. This number may change depending on how efficient you are. If you go to open chests, this can be way higher. Um, but the idea is to get to level 50 and then farm the Blood Maiden and then go, uh, hopefully you get a strong power. Now, for alternate characters, because I know you guys are going to question, well, you're level 100 war and you're in World Tier 2, you're trying to finish yours, that's awesome. But what about an alternate character? So again, you want to get power level to 50 or get to 50 as fast as you can. Get to 50 as fast as you can, and then you are going to stay on World Tier 2 and again, farm the Blood Maiden. But how we do this incredibly fast is you want to get a strong power that you can put on your gear or a gear piece. So what I suggest that you do is while you're farming on World Tier 2, you see I have a bunch of gear pieces here that are much lower level to regular wands and stuff like that. I would just can keep a like some of this gear back in your stash for an alternate character that can just be generally put on for a power, right? Because you have, you know, you got all of your stuff in the Codex of Power that you can just put on to make something a build really, really strong or just add damage. So I would do that if you ever have any lower level uniques definitely do that but as soon as you get to 50 you can farm this um now at level 50 i will tell you that it's going to take a little bit longer it's roughly two minutes but still you can farm and level this up really really easy um a lovely community or community community member um demon he did this he did a two full hours of the um hell tide and doing this strategy on a brand new character after getting to 50 and he gained the first uh, eight or 10 levels of your wolf's honor incredibly fast. Now we're going to get to the rub. Why do we want to do this? Why do we want to do this strategy? And why is it so effective? If you guys don't know that the wolf's honor applies to each character individually, when you oh, get to this final stash, the highest honor, you receive a resplendent spark. Now, this is important because it's not per account. It's per character. So with this strategy, you can farm a brand new character, take the 20 minutes to get to level 50, equip your character, and then start farming. You can go from 1 to 18 on a new character in about 5 or so hours, roughly, if you're being extremely efficient, maybe 6 hours. You can go from 1 to 18 and get another spark on another character. So this strategy is insane. I would definitely do it. This helps power level other characters. This helps just maximize your cinders and what you're getting. Now, there is trade-offs. You're not going to be able to get a lot of uh, ancestral gear and stuff because you're in World Tier 2 and whatnot. So you'll only get what you open from chests in World Tier 4. But with that said, this strategy is incredibly powerful. It's very, very fast and efficient. I mean, you can see there, uh, I needed 2,000. I think it was 2,300 when I was doing this. And I did it for 10 minutes, and I already gained over 2,000 honor. And now we leveled up. So it's incredibly efficient and strong. The strategy is nuts. So again, guys, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. I would guess that this gets nerfed at some point. But until it does, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and use it. It's insane. Uh, but yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace.